Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're doing well. We are looking really cute. Today, I'm going to do a go-to fall slash winter makeup routine. Um, it's a basic look. There's nothing va va voom about this. It's my usual neutral glam kind of vibe, which is my favorite look on honestly to keep it real with you. But if you guys are interested in seeing the products that I use and just how I create this look and just my go-to makeup routine for this time of year, then just go ahead and keep watching. Make sure you are subscribed. I'll pause the video. Make sure you scroll down on your page and that subscribe button is clicked so you join the fam. And also make sure you tap the notification bell so you're notified every single time I upload. So let's just go ahead and get started. First of all, let's discuss this hair. I'm wearing my hair out. When have I done that on this channel? Have I? I don't even think I've done that ever really on my channel. So yes, I have my hair out. She is thriving and I just, I always hold my hair back because I don't care, I don't like having my hair out because I feel like it's just annoying. But I was like, you know what, let me wear my hair out for once in my life. So, yep, just co-washed it and put in some moisturizer in it and that was it, let it air dry. But you're not here for hair, you're here for makeup. So today I wanted to do a my go-to fall winter makeup routine. I'm gonna keep it very simple. I'm not going to be talking in this video. I'll, I'll probably do a voiceover explaining like everything, but you guys see me do my makeup a bajillion times, so you kind of know how it goes. But yeah, I was just in the mood to do my makeup. But let's just go ahead and get started. All right, so we're gonna start off with the brows. I'm using my e.l.f. brow pomade as usual. Just going ahead and filling them in because my brows are non-existent. So, yeah. <laughs> And then I'm going to go ahead and clean them up using my L'Oreal Infallible Concealer. I usually use this concealer to clean it up most of the time. Sometimes I'll switch it up, but this is my go-to concealer. And then we're going to go ahead and prime using the Tatcha Liquid Silk Canvas. This is hands down one of the best primers ever. I haven't used it as much as I used to, but I'm glad I did in this video because it's one of my favorites. I highly recommend it. All right, we're gonna go ahead and mix these two foundations, the Morphe and the Cover FX. They're both really, really good foundations. They wear really, really well, and they just give great coverage. So you guys know I love mixing foundations, so we're just gonna go ahead and do that and blend that in. And then we're gonna go ahead and cream contour. I'm using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Concealer, concealer, Lord, bronzer, <laughs> in the shade, I believe it's chestnut or hazelnut. I wanna say chestnut. But I'm just gonna go ahead and cream bronze because I always do this step. Ever since I started doing this, I haven't stopped. And I'm happy I, I started because I'm late. I'm always late to everything. <laughs> And then we're gonna go ahead and use concealer. This is a Juvia's Place concealer. This is a very underrated concealer. I enjoy it a lot. Um, definitely check it out. You can get it at Ulta. It's a wonderful concealer. Very hydrating, liquidy, but also gives very good coverage. I recommend it a lot. Now I'm just blending it out using my DSMD sponges. They are finally back in stock, so I'm gonna make sure I link them down below so you guys can go ahead and check them out. My favorite sponges of all time. They're super duper affordable and they're black owned. They're just amazing. Definitely check them out if you've been looking for a new makeup sponge. Now we're gonna go ahead and set our concealer. I'm using my Laura Mercier translucent powder. What I'm doing here is I'm doing that technique where I set the face before I bake. So that's what I am doing here. And then we're gonna go ahead and bronze with our Mented Cosmetics bronzer. This is a powder bronzer, so I'm just putting that over the cream bronzer to go ahead and set that and make sure everything looks nice and blended. And 
And you guys already know I don't contour or bronze my nose. This is literally what I do. What you see is what I do. <laughs> so just, yeah. <laughs> so now I'm gonna go ahead and bake. Um, like I said, I set my face before, now I'm actually baking. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that powder everywhere I put my concealer. This is just gonna elongate my makeup and make it wear really, really well and just overall make my face look really flawless. This is optional. I do this to give my um, face more structure, but this is just gonna make my cheekbones pop. You don't have to do that, but I like to do it sometimes. Now we're gonna go ahead and use some setting spray. This is the Desi Dumi Mist. There's a lot of powder on the face, so it's just gonna go ahead and make everything blend together. now I'm just going ahead and putting some, what is that? A mascara for your brows? Uh, <laughs> what is, I cannot think of the name. Brow gel, boom. I'm putting on some brow gel. <laughs> now we're gonna go ahead and put some blush. This is one of my favorite blush palettes. This is the Jaclyn Hill Blush Palette in Rouge Romance. Amazing, one of the best launches of 2021. Fight me, okay? Hands down, one of the best launches. She did, she put her foot in this. Speaking of Jaclyn Hill, we're using her Neutrals palette that she collabed with Morphe. Really, really good drugstore affordable Neutrals palette. You get mattes and you get shimmers, a bit of everything. I feel like if you're a makeup lover, whether you like Neutrals or not, this is something that you should have in your kit. So I recommend it. You could get it at Ulta in-store now. So definitely check it out if you've been wanting to purchase it. Like, look at that color. Isn't it just so beautiful and bronzy? Ugh, nothing beats a bronzy eye. It's just so sultry and sexy. I want to be buried in this eye look. <laughs> I'm going to make sure I let my family know so they can, they can make my wishes come true. Anyways, so I'm going to go ahead and put some eyeliner on. This is the Marc Jacobs Gel Liner. Really, really good eyeliner. And then we're using my favorite mascara. You guys already know, I don't have to say what it is, but I'm gonna tell you what it is anyways. It's the Lancome Monster Big, the best mascara, hands down. And then we're gonna go ahead and use the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Setting Powder, Press Powder. I like to do this at the end of my makeup. When everything's done, I just go over the middle of my face to kind of brighten it up and just make it look even more airbrushed and flawless. And then we're gonna go ahead and plop on some lashes. Those are the Beauty Creation Lashes, my go-to lash brand. Now I'm just kind of getting myself back together since I pinned my hair back. And then we're gonna go ahead and jump to lips. I'm gonna go use my ColourPop BFF4 Lip Liner. This is a nice, beautiful, chocolatey brown. I'm not sure if they have this in stock. It's always out of stock, so I can check, but great lip liner. Great, great, great lip liner. Look at those eyes, y'all. Like, damn, who is she? And then now we're gonna go ahead and put the lip color. I'm using the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream. Amazing, one of my favorite formulas ever, ever, ever. Great lip product. And now we're gonna go ahead and just set the face to finish it off I'm using my Milani setting spray, wonderful drugstore setting spray, the best. All right, you guys, that is it. This is my fall slash winter go-to routine. I do this look all the time. I always, I just switch out my products, whether that's foundation, eyeshadow, whatever have you. But most of the times, you guys know I'm a neutral gal. So most likely I'm gonna have something neutral on both lip and eye. So I just wanted to give you um, an updated go-to makeup routine. I switch things up all the time. It also depends on the mood. Like this is a bit more glam. So I wouldn't do this like every day, like probably like minus the lashes and all that. But this is something that I will be rocking all fall and winter cause it's beautiful and literally goes with absolutely anything. So thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you comment down below and let me know what else you guys would like to see from me. Click the subscribe button and make sure you join the family so you're notified every single time I upload and make sure you tap that notification bell as well. Thank you once again. I love every single one of you guys and I will see you on the next one.
Bye.